If you duck, I just killed you, right? If you try and sidewalk me, I just killed you. Cla Claudio is godlike. Absolutely godlike. I mean, I've uh, I've underrated him a lot, I think. But he's, he's stupid good. Stupid good. I, he, he lacks... Yeah, the, the biggest weakness is lacking a classic down for the one, right? This is 15. Although it has a natural combo launch, right? So, it's a bit scary. But the trade-off is that he is launch punishable here. It's so basically a classic, almost like a Hiachi downford 1-2, classic style, like a demon uppercut launch. But he has back free to make up for this. 13 frames. And as it's, it's, it's got poor reach, but being a knee, you can't counter it with a classic Tekken, uh, Asuka, Paul, etc. counter. So that's pretty good for a, for a poke like that. Uh, minus 4, plus 7 on hit. And it's got a very scary follow-up that's delayable. That's minus 12 on block, but a counter it launcher. Right? So that's actually really scary. So that's not bad at all, actually. But, you know, worth mentioning, doesn't have a classic down for one. But so what does he have? Uh, arguably the best mid in the game. Arguably the best mid in the game. I mean, you, you notice reach, right? So this is back one. And this is still in Tekken 8, by the way. So, Kablam. I knock you down. And wall splats. Right? On block, this is minus 5. And Claudio takes a substantial back step as well. Rendering it even more safe. So this is not minus 5. I'm right in your face. Poke in your nose. I'm, I, I take a step back. <laughs> So it's homing, meaning it also beats sidesteps. If it hits someone who's jumping or doing an orbital, whatever, jumping attack, I just screwed you. And it also has a very low mid hitbox, right? So you can't really evade it either. This move is... it's broken. It's broken. So basically, a, a lot of pro players think he's the most oppressive character at the wall. And why is that? Well, it's just one move due to this. If uh, you recover at the wall, like, oh, I'm gonna stand back up again. If you duck, I just killed you, right? If you try and sidewalk me, I just killed you, right? So th this move, it option selects a duck, option selects sidestep. So you'll just... Against uh, Claudio, you'll just stand up into a guard at the wall. You won't do anything other than that. And that's, of course, where sidestep 4 comes in. So again, this is a sidestep low. Does chunky 20 damage and gives Claudio plus 6. Plus 6! And if it counter hits... That's 42 damage. He can pick up here and float you as well. Again, this this is not guaranteed. But it's if you press any button there. Other than just staying on the ground. He, he floats you and gets a reset. This low kinda busted. It's like... Any of these are at least okay on their own, right? But when you have these two on the same character... It's, uh, it's a bit weird. It's a bit funky. Uh, and then you have, uh, while running two, which is the Superman punch. That's plus 21 at the wall, as you just saw. On block, plus 21. Uh, and out in the open, it's plus seven. And it, it does huge damage. 40. On counter hit, 48. 
Uh, so again, uh, it's a bit like Dragunov, you know how you can play Dragunov with while running 2, down 2, uh, and back 1 plus 2? This guy can do that same playstyle, play with free attacks, it's just that Dragunov's options are so trash compared to Claudio's. So unbelievably trash. And then the fourth move we want to talk about, that just completes him into almost perfection, is, is the hop kick. On this character, you put the best hop kick in the game. So I'm moving around, you know, I'm poking away with this shit. If you whiff any attack, kaplam. Duh! So, longest reaching uh, hop kick into big damage. So yeah, that character has the best hop kick as well. Uh, and then there's a couple of like uh, interesting poke strings one can talk about that add more utility to the character. But uh, yeah, after this, it's basically Starburst and what that mechanic uh, earns him. So th this is a great attack. You see, minus eight with huge pushback. This is Claudio's d demon paw, and you'll see a lot of top players use this. I mean, note for each, right? Super safe. If he lands this mid, this demon paw, boom, he gets starburst. It's it, That's arguably the easiest way of getting starburst. And when you are in starburst, he just has the most ridiculous stuff. So, forward 1 plus 2. So, it turns into a uh, 1 million damage launcher, right? That's minus 9 on block. Safe. And delayable, where they have to respect you. And then, you probably know, down 2-2. Two, two, turns into a minus 12 uh, launcher. You, you, you can block that on reaction, but you need you need fast reflexes to do so. And he can always try and, you know, faint, just to the first hit. But if it connects, you die. Uh, he gets a very damaging wall combo in Starburst. That one. Uh, he gets uh, this string. Uh, which is super disgusting. Plus 8 on block. That's plus 8 on block. 40 damage wall splat. Um, that's very strong. This is unblockable. A little bit gimmicky, but still very strong. Uh, so that basically is... It's a quick mid on guard into an unblockable. Uh, if we can demonstrate this properly. So block, kaplam. You can avoid that, but it's very, very difficult to do if a Claudio is not spamming it. Uh, is there anything else I want to cover with Starburst? I think those are the options I want to show. Um, this move is interesting as well. This is plus two on block, you see? Mid. Plus two on block. Counter it launcher. It's not bad. All oh, right. Yeah, whiff punish one plus two. It's got a lot of reach. You see this reach? Into Oki. It's a pretty crazy whiff punish. Um. And in general, he's a pretty big Italiano guy, so he's got a lot of reach on most of his stuff. He's 
got a lot of reach. And movement is solid. So, like, if you have very strong fundamentals, like, he rewards fundamentals a lot, unless you want to spam hopkicks. If you have that, like, this is, is pretty flawless. Uh, Claudio is pretty flawless. I can't think of any real weaknesses. He doesn't have a proper throw game, only one plus two, so that's something. Uh, he doesn't have a classic down for one, relies on back three. But outside of that, oh, we haven't even talked about downward free. Downward free two, mid high, delayable. But he can do downward free one here. If you have very, very fast reflexes, this is hit confirmable. And it's only minus 12. And ultra delayable. Insanely strong string. But yeah, I guess in short, this this is what makes Claudio so strong. He's got multiple attacks. I would literally, I would say they're perfect. Perfect. So, yeah, unbelievably strong character.